Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Thursday, October 11th, 2012. I'm astrologer David Palmer here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, Thursday is a wonderful day. We have the moon going from Leo and into Virgo, and today is a day for us to really emotionally process things. As our heart has been online for the last couple days, as we're feeling the love and we're getting ready for all these shifts that have been happening, our minds really do connect to our emotions today. There is a lot of processing. There is us looking at the details. There is us being critical of different points. Also, the moon will oppose Neptune today. So this can be emotionally confusing, but it is time for us to get that flow. Let the flow of things really go in the same time of our emotions. If there's some confusion that's going on today, just let things happen, slide down the river, and emotionally start to process this. That's because we are getting ready for a new moon here. The moon will be new in Libra. And before we get there, we need to get the details straight. We need to get organized. That's because the moon today will also square Mars and Sagittarius. Mars and Sagittarius finally breaking free of Neptune, getting ready to get supercharged here and trying over to Uranus, yet the moon squares here today. This is us getting prepped. This is us getting the details together and letting us go with the flow and get ready for this big adventure that is coming our way. Mars is ready to really push us forward, to conquer this new spot, these new horizons. We are in a little bit of a swirling pot. That's because we just have gone through so much change. That's because Saturn has just moved into Scorpio. And now as Saturn is at zero degrees, we are in the whirlpool waiting for it to spit us out in this new direction. And that's all going to happen right when Mars really does break free and does tap into this Uranus trine that's happening. These next four days are really us preparing, us emotionally getting the details together to really figure out where we want to take our lives, for us to really process things, for us to go deep into our truth, to get our attitudes in the right place, and of course, really resonate with where this peace is in our life, where is harmony in our life, and looking at the details, looking at how we can serve ourselves better. One thing about Virgo is it is all about service, it is all about getting our details together and of course with our emotions stepping in today and because the moon and venus are coming closer we do feel this warmth we do feel it when we do serve ourselves better when we do serve people better when we come from a place of harmony and so forth now again mars getting ready for us to go supercharged mars is ready to start trining and move off of neptune and there is so much neptune energy right now of a little bit of confusion of us really having to trust in following the stars, following our guides, following our intuition. And we are tested here emotionally today. We're ready to go gung-ho, yet we're still a little unsure of exactly where this direction is going. But today is us to start processing and starting to understand emotionally where are we going? Where are we taking our lives? Where are we going to be spit out? You know what? We're, we're sitting in the jacuzzi right now and the bubbles are about to stop and we're about to walk out of the jacuzzi and really enter this, this trip right now. And there's been so much change. There's so much digging up. Mercury now really moving forward fast in Scorpio, us really getting our head straight, really digging into our truth, really trying to understand our truth. And this is connected over to Venus right now, which is finding our warmth, finding it and how we can serve ourselves better. And these details and organization make us feel warmer. It's actually when we're a little bit confused where our emotions are especially our warmness inside are having the difficulty in order to find warmth right now. It is understanding the process. It is understanding so much, but at the same time, not letting confusion get in the way. Yes, we want the ideas that we want to understand things, yet going with the flow is really where we learn to understand more. It is down the river where you can start processing. It's not when you stop and you try and swim up river to understand things. Really go with the flow and really let things happen. You know, Jupiter, of course, really retrograding still, getting our minds in the right place, really observing all of the stuff that we have been pushing forward with information. There's a lot of information for us to process. And today's a day where we emotionally sit in the jacuzzi and start to look at the graphs and go with the flow. You know what? The bubbles are still on for us to enjoy. Yes, we are ready to get out, but enjoy the bubbles right now. Enjoy your space right now. Enjoy finding what makes you feel warmth. And it's the details in your head, it's the attitude in your head and not getting in the way. It's also when you let your intuition follow yourself. And remember, it is a time of peace. It is a time of chilling. There is this intense energy for us to want to change. That's because the North Node is in Scorpio. We are all awakening to change. We are all changing who we are. We are all transforming. And this is really going to get stronger and stronger as next week comes, and especially this new moon coming. So. 
Get prepped, really enjoy the jacuzzi today, and don't let any confusion take over your head. Let confusion or let your intuition be your best friend today to let you process and understand what's truly going on and getting in between you feeling warmth, you feeling fresh, and your emotions really that are trying to understand where to move forward right now. Check out my website, david-palmer.com. I've got my Scorpio MP3 sale. It's all about Saturn and Scorpio and what the next two and a half years are happening in your life. Also check out my 995 Back to the Root MP3. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you for your weekend forecast tomorrow.